What's up guys, we are back with some Skyrim Special Edition and I wanted to make this small guide to help you with an issue that some of you may have. I know that I have had it. It's usually something that happens on male characters and it happens when you port armors over from Legendary Edition to Special Edition. It won't happen in most cases, it's really rare when it happens. It usually happens on uh, when you have a piece of armor equipped it to like one of those unnamed slots. So, I don't know, if you have a heavily modded game, you might see that sometimes you might see like an an NPC just completely naked, right? Uh, one of the uh, mods that I have is the Bandoliers mod. Now, this mod is available for Ellie and SE. I don't know if the same author who made it ported it over, but it does have an issue where if I equip uh, the pouches... More specifically, if I equip the pouch left, right here, Imperial pouches, side left. So if I equip this, it will make my whole character turn butt naked. So um, I'm just gonna I'm gonna show you <laughs> what I did to make it so that you can fix this issue because um, I also had this problem on the Aesir belt, which I'm about to show you. So the same problem happened to me with the Aesir armor. I don't know if this was ported officially to Special Edition. To my knowledge, it hasn't. I, I had ported this myself because it's one of my favorite armors, you know, for my own personal use. And when I go to put on the, the uh, Aesir belt, it makes my character naked. So I'm pretty much going to show you how to fix this issue. Um, one thing that I do is I use the OSA OSTEM to determine, you know, which slots am I currently using and, um, which slots are available. So I'm about to show you that. Okay. So we're going to open our OSA menu and then you're going to go to this tab right here where it says inspect self. And then you're going to scroll up to where it says equipment inspect menu and then in here uh, let me get that souls quick menu out the way in here it'll show you all of the armor um, pieces that you have on and which number slots that they take up so you can see ACR Poldron left buck on slot 58 Nordic carve armor on slot 52 and things like that so what you want to do is you want to look for one of these slots that isn't being occupied. So for me, I have 41, 40, 38, uh, which number is that? I think that might be 39, you know, slots like that. Try to pick one that, um, that closely resembles to the part that you're trying to use. So I'm using a belt, so I would probably not put it over 44 since that appears to be like eyeglasses or mask. And I wouldn't put it over 40, Three, I think that is because it looks like earrings so I would try to use something like 38 40 or 41 mostly these unnamed slots all right so what we're going to need is we're going to need a uh, NIF NIF scope and we're going to need the creation kit you probably could do this in X edit but I only know how to do it with the creation kit and NIF scope so let's exit out the game and then I'm gonna show you what I did to uh to make the Aesir belt work on my character and not turn him butt naked. Okay, so back on our dashboard, we're going to search for our armor right here, Aesir armor. I'm going to open this up. We're gonna go to meshes, armor, right here, and we're gonna I'm gonna look up the belt. F for female, M for male, G N D is the world model. This is the model that you see when you drop the item. I don't think this matters. So we're just going to go to here. This one is the hunter's belt. So right here, you can change the slot in the creation kit, but you also need to change it right here because I have changed it in the creation kit and it made no difference until I came in here and changed it. All right. So what you want to do is you want to click on the mesh and then you're going to open up this tab, the tri shape tab, and then you're going to open up or you're going to click on this one. Dismember skin instance. 
and then you gotta go down here the partitions and then right here um this is the slot number so right now it's currently over slot 52 and i think slot 52 is the same one that uh takes up the torso armor so what you want to do is you just want to open this tab and then you want to scroll down and you want to select one of the slots that's available to you like i said you'll know which one is available to you uh by using osa or if you have another mod like that i personally just osa is convenient for me it shows me all the slots so you know we're going to change this to um whatever that was available to me i think it was like 38 or something okay so i ended up using slot 60 and keep in mind depending on uh how many separate instances that i think is the right word that the the body armor piece has you're gonna have to do it for every single one so you're gonna have to do it for like the belt strap and then you're gonna have to do it for this one as well so you, you open this one go here click it come down i put them all on slot 60. you gotta go here this one too slot 60 all right because if you don't do all of them only you know the, the slots that you put as the right number will appear on your waist and the rest might, I don't know, either be invisible or still continue to make your character naked. All right. So let's go ahead and jump over to the creation kit really quickly. All right. So in the creation kit, what you want to do is you want to search for your piece of armor in both the armor and armor add on tab. They will be listed under items. So you come to items, open this up. Click on armor, search for your piece of armor. So right here, I have a Aesir Belt Hunter. And then you want to come over to this tab right here. Now, remember in NIF scope, we selected slot 60. So right here, we're going to pit slot 60. And make sure nothing else is checked. Make sure only slot 60 is checked. Okay? So then, after you do it in the armor tab, you also want to do it in the armor add-on tab. So just do the same thing. Slot 60. There you go. And then that's it. And then once you jump in game, you should be able to wear that belt without your character turning butt naked. So let's go ahead and do that really quickly. Back in game. And now uh, I could go into my items and I could throw on this belt now. And as you can see, I could wear it and my character doesn't turn butt naked because we had changed it to slot 60. So if we come over here to inspect self and then we go to inspect ourselves. And now we can come over here to slot 60, which was an open slot. And now we put our belt over it. All right. So that's pretty nice, you know, in case there's like. Um, a piece of armor that makes you turn naked and also it could be used for let's say you have two pieces of armor that you want to wear and you know the game just doesn't let you wear it together you know you can just do this method and then you will be able to so as you can see um let me show you my guy has a helmet but he also has a circlet underneath it because what I did was I took the the helmet and then I made like helmets originally take up like three slots. But what I did was I made it so that my helmet only takes up one slot. So now I, I um, let me go uh, inspect self right here. And you can see I have a circuit copper and moonstone circlet. Let me move this menu. Sorry. Copper and moonstone circlet. And then I have my helmet right here. So as you can see, helmet, circlet still on. Helmet. And then circlet off. 
so that's really nice all right so i don't know it's just something that i wanted to show you guys and also just something to put up to remind myself in case i ever you know forget how to do this and want to know so i think this is very useful for you know adding multiple uh slots so now if there's like a wig or a hat that don't you know combine together right you can fix that all right i'm rambling too damn much um if you're still here thank you for watching leave a like on this video to support me and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already i will see you guys next time